What's up, you two? But you know Xavier came to Fight for you back again, once again. I just stole someone's life. I don't remember who, though. And we're about to get the good ending of the game. So here we go right for the chase scene, and let's do the shit. We finally get to have a happy ending. Dude, what am I saying? This is a horror game. There is no happy ending. Even if the horror game kind of sucks and doesn't have any legitimate death. Well, any legitimate opportunity to die. I'm going to be intrigued by your two friends. Oops, I clicked accept. Well, I guess we can see if the accept ending will change based on Yuka and Yuta being alive. <laughs> nope, it doesn't change. Alright, refreshing. He says even though he didn't give it a chance to see if Yuka or Yuta come and save him. <laughs> Although, let's face it, they probably don't. Alright, Dwayne, don't get too lazy this time. Pay attention. Don't accidentally accept again. Okay. Refuse. <laughs> the fuck off me! What is this love bullshit? That doesn't exist to us. Apparently. I seriously call bullshit on how fucking overpowered this chick is. And no, I'm not saying women can't defend themselves. Of course they can. But she did not just overpower her male friend who had a fucking weapon in his hand. Also, I love how even after she's seen that her friends aren't your cells when they attack you, she still feels the need to attack the fucking dude. Rin, this is why no one fucking likes you. Why? Why are you a thing? Somebody, do some research. Tell me what the fuck that door's there for. Okay, what do I have to do again? I have the somewhere maps. So let's go get... Let's use the somewhere map. So she can realize that she can't read it. Then we'll talk to him and get his watch. Now we'll start the engine and get to the other side. Win! Say, Tara, what? Don't ask Bob and Matt, I'm coming with you. Don't want to take him dive again. Ah, oh, shut up! So once again, you and you to don't come, because they aren't they aren't allowed to come. They don't have main character status. Fuck them.
<laughs> I still love that line. Oh, I broke it. Well, screw you too. Okay, so that changed the sort of jacket. I thought it would, but I guess not. Doesn't look locked. Let's go in. A monster? No. It's a corpse. A woman's corpse. A corpse? Yeah, right. Not something that huge and gross. And wouldn't a corpse be rotten? It's not just a corpse. It's preserved with epidipuri. Say again? It's a non-decayed corpse kept away from the open air. G the germs and germs <coughs> kept away from the open air and germs. The body hardens up and won't fall apart. Now I know what the legend is all about. Wait, really? Why don't why don't we believe in the legend? Huh? Because mermaids don't exist. That's right. There's no such thing as a mermaid. So we won't believe a mermaid legend. What if it wasn't a mermaid? Huh? What if it wasn't a mermaid, but just a regular woman? So, when his wife tried to leave, he drowned her and her kids. A man from the mountain finds a beautiful girl on the beach. Maybe a, a diver, maybe just swimming along. The man falls for her and abducts her to his home. He loves seeing her in the water, so he has her live in the fish tank. Always living in water makes the girl sick, and she dies. And even when her body freezes, she's not allowed out of the water. So, so that's how the corpses were made? But wait, why leave the corpse like that? And why the Addy thing? And why are there five of them? If you left the corpse in the water for a month, it would normally be falling apart by then. It's hard to get the right circumstances for preservation. But these corpses are barely damaged at all. They were purposefully preserved right as they started swelling. Wait, purposefully? You found those old documents, right? About a medicine to stop germs from spreading? What if it was to preserve these corpses? Oh... The man loved her, even bloated and ugly like this. In fact, perhaps this is what he loved most. Lo loved these corpses? There's some strange people out there, with some strange preferences. No one else might ever know of them, of course. Perhaps he couldn't give the girl up after she died. He couldn't watch her rot, so he went to the last resort. But that eventually became his goal. What do you mean? The mermaid's cur curse takes village girls. He couldn't have just one. The pipes in this room must go to the boiler room. He must have set them up con continuously. Fill the fish tanks of that germicide. These women are Ophelia's to the Tsuchita man. They adore the sight of a woman drowning in the water, such that they drown them, them themselves. Which is why one of the endings is say Toro drowning me. That's crazy! Did you ever are abducted for that? So this is the truth about the mermaid. I don't understand. Why let that secret be known via a legend? Why create a legend to expose it all? The woman! The Tsuchita woman! Huh? Why did the Tsuchita woman know all their male relatives were stealing girls? 
They loathed them, but couldn't stop it. They were frightened of being made mummies themselves. So they made the legend to keep people away. So at least no outsiders would fall victim. I see. That seems to explain the whole legend. But that doesn't seem to help us much. We don't know how to help Yuka or get out of here. Let's go, Rin. Seems finding a map and getting out of here comes first. Huh? S stop it! I don't know where you came from, and I can't take you back! L leave us alone already! Take me back! To the Earth! To the Earth? That's right. You're not mermaids, just normal woman. You don't like looking so hideous. I'll do what I can. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Do I have an item to break it? No. Just stuff. Some kind of machine. A pickaxe. I can't take it. So much for doing what I can. Dynamite. Yeah, with this. You want to blow up the cavern and fill it in? I'm sure this dynamite will do the trick. The fuse is way too short. There's no time. <laughs> There's no time to run. You'll be buried alive. Don't be stupid. But I want to do something. I know. I, I know. I wouldn't want to look like that forever. They want to be taken back, to be saved. Please, Tara, help me out. No! But you'll do it no matter what I say, won't you? Ugh, you never listen. I managed to extend the fuse, but it'll be ten seconds tops before it blows. I think that's the surface before then. Rin, you wait up above. I'm staying here. I suggested it, so I'm not leaving it to you. Fine. Run like hell when I light it, okay? Oh, that was Rin who said I suggested it. I'm an idiot. Three, two, one! Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck! I think I already died. Oh, I actually made it out. That's surprising. Yeah, there's two seconds left. That means I made it out. The ground cave, then. That should fill up that cavern. Rin, what's up? Were you hurt? Huh? Ah, tears. They're not my tears. So the mermaids are crying for Rin? They're warm. No, Rin looks kind of beautiful there. For the girls is... Well, I wonder what happens next. <gasps> Rin! Old oh, man? So, you filled it in, did you? You damn old coot! You knew all about this and you still invite us here? A whole family of doors, mermaids. 
even if they love us, they cannot seek help. So they needed someone to help them. They've long been waiting for an unknown third party like you. Old man, Mr. Tsuchida, tell me, did you turn off the power to the house so we couldn't contact the outside? Yes, that is correct. You were in the village all along, right? When I went there, you were there? Yes, also right. Uh, the hell? Didn't you do anything? Your family did all this. The mermaids adore us. They had never sought help before. But what my ancestor did was te terrible. I wanted to make up for it somehow. But I knew no mere moment would save anyone. Yet, I could not release the girls. I loved them myself. So awful and repulsive. Those mermaids too beautiful for this world. You damn fogey! I'm calling the police! Stop him! The statute of limitations is probably up by now. And this old man didn't do it. The fog is starting to fade. I gave Mr. Utah a map on the hot a map to the highway earlier. It should be easy to ascend the mountain now. What are you going to do, Mr. Suchita? I suppose I mourn them for a short remainder of my life. For these looted men, the departed mermaids, and above all, for my family. Utah! Whoa, Rinse, Itaro! Listen, the engine works now. Oh, and the old man came back with a map. We can finally go home. Alright, Utah, help me carry Yuka. We're going as soon as we can. Oh, wait, we should thank the old man. We already said it. Come on, let's go. Alright, much easier to see now. We'll be off the mountain in half an hour. Hmm? The fuck? She's here already? <gasps> Yuka! Hmm. Rin? Huh? I... You... Yuka! We went down the mountain to a hospital, but there was nothing wrong with Yuka. Yuka says she doesn't remember anything, just that she was cold. You took sparing a new car. I'm buying a new car, finally. He wants to have one with a GP. God damn it. Oh, whatever. You guys can pause it. So, Taro's taking a calling to take Tommy Spewerman. I guess that's an upgrade from t Taro Yama Monkey. Oh, and I. I don't have any lo lonely dreams about being cold in the ocean. The end. Underwater dream. And the credits! Alright, so that was Mermaid Swamps. My thoughts? This game sucks. The story is pretty decent, but horror games are supposed to be one, scary, and two, threatening. This game is neither. The only scary moments, if you can even call them that, are being chased by your two friends. And the only moments which you can die are also being chased by your own friends.
So, yeah. Fuck this game. It's not that good. I suppose story-wise it's good, but gameplay-wise it isn't. Just, no. No. I'm kind of really disappointed. I thought this game would be amazing, because I saw two other pretty awesome horror games before it. And I thought, well, the next thing that person's less playing, this is probably going to be an amazing game too. Boy, was I wrong. I guess overall I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Wait, no, not 5 out of 10, that's average. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. It was a good first attempt, but no, not a good game. Sorry. So, um, uh, yeah. I guess I'll raise the volume so you guys can listen to the music. Huh? Oh, the music's already done. Well, shit. <laughs> okay, man. Any end of credits scene? No? Alright then. Well, that was Mermaid Swamp. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I don't know what I'm gonna let's play next, so deuces, YouTube.